And hurricane season runs through November, and if you have a vacation coming up, there's always a chance your travel plans will be disrupted by tropical turmoil. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha looks at travel during the hurricane season and what you can do to lessen its impact on your plans. We are smack in the middle of hurricane season. If you have any doubt, just take a look at this satellite view. In the Pacific, we have Kiko and all kinds of stuff down here that has the potential to become a storm. In the Atlantic, we have Jerry, we have Karen, and Lorenzo. And with the hurricane season running till November, you have lots of chances that something tropical is going to end up disturbing your vacation. The first thing you need to do if you're planning to travel during the hurricane season is to consider places which are more outside of the hurricane belt and less likely to be affected by a major storm. The areas most impacted by hurricanes tend to include the Caribbean, Florida, and states bordering both the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. But hurricane season is also the time when resorts drop their prices by as much as 60%, which means you can get good deals, but you need to protect yourself. It's all about getting your insurance ahead of time. Knowing that hurricanes can interrupt a vacation, many hotels and resorts will offer protection, if you ask. And many resorts will even offer you a hurricane guarantee that if your trip is either postponed or interrupted, they'll fly you back next year at their expense. But you can't wait till that weather system is already named. You've got to request the protection deal beforehand by speaking directly with the resort. It's sort of like you can't buy fire insurance once the second floor catches fire. Airlines are a different story. A growing number of airlines are offering travel waivers and will do so even after a storm is named, but many airlines will charge you a service fee to enact that waiver. Cruise ships, though, they're in a travel class of their own. Few cruise lines actually have hurricane policies, and they say you have to buy standard travel insurance policies to protect yourself. But if you buy travel insurance, make sure it includes a hurricane provision. And guys, you should know that every resort handles hurricanes or severe weather differently, so it's very important that before you book anything, check with your resort and get a copy of that policy in writing. To help make your booking plans a little bit easier, I've included a link in today's web story which outlines some popular resort hurricane policies as well as other information which might help you. Working for all you guys, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.